So me and JJ from Discord were having this discussion where he wants to quit with game dev, he's tired of it, he thinks his projects are terrible, and as a caring dad, you know, I'm like, no dude, it's not worth it, you know, I state some reasons that we're also gonna cover up in this video, and he's like, nah, I'm just gonna quit, like, I really don't feel like, it. and uh, my last resort, he was like, yo man, if you quit my server too, I'm gonna hunt you down, bitch, I live in Sweden too. I'm just sitting there like, dude, don't force me to throw meatballs at your freaking house, and then I came up with this brilliant idea where I was like, dude, why do I not make a video out of this topic? Because a lot of people have been asking me anyway, like, you know, I talk a lot on this channel about keeping consistency, focus, talking about money when you're, you know, f making your first games and such, but we never really got into deep details on how you actually keep these factors up with yourself. So guys, buckle up, get your pizza and popcorn ready, because we're going to be talking about how you keep consistency, some motivation, and other important factors when you're actually making your first game. With that being said, let's roll in the intro. <laughs> Hey devs, uh, that's my new intro by the way, hey devs, <laughs> good morning devs, that's so cringy, I should stop. But what is up guys, it is Saikuru Sam here and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm bringing you a brand new commentary video, like I said, where we're going to be talking about making your first game specifically, and we're going to focus on these, you know, a few important factors, but I am going to mention already now, like these are factors, the factors that we're going to cover up in this video are still things and topics that you can focus on while making your second, third, and 40th game like it doesn't really matter the amount of games you have made but we're gonna specifically focus on the first game makers before we get into the main topic of this video I just want to quickly mention two things the first of all we are starting up a new series in, on this channel where I am going to review and rate and uh, provide the few, few prizes to people who have amazing PC setups and complete desktop builds like if you have a developer build or a developer setup or a gaming setup you know you want to show off to people obviously go ahead and join the discord server down below is linked there uh, also in the pinned comment and you're gonna be able to upload a picture and a few details about your setup and you might even win a prize alongside being featured in a video that I'm going to upload soon and I said that these are like amazing setups but they don't have to be amazing like sci-fi next gen next level whatever it's supposed to be something minimalistic it can be something incredible looking like just amazing blow people off but you know if if it's something that is minimalistic and you're proud of it, you can still show it off and you might still win the prize too. And for the second thing, you guys are probably already aware of this, but we are running a giveaway of the Freeman Guerrilla Warfare game right now on our Discord server as well, which is the platform where we always host these kinds of contests, you know, competitions and giveaways especially, also some game jams. So make sure to join up guys, the links are in the description and also in the comment down below. And now for the main topic. Oh boy, where do we even begin? Well, let's do like this. We're gonna start talking about focus, getting into consistency, assets, money, and even talk about a couple more important factors. But let's get started with the focus. So when you're making your first game, a lot of people seem to, or a lot of indie devs tend to focus on success. They seem to want to focus on the money part, you know, earning a lot of money, uploading a quick game onto Steam or the Google Play Store, like App Store or whatever it might be, and just earn some quick bucks. And I have to say, like, from the perspective of a of an indie dev who's, you know, recently gotten started with game dev, recently started learning programming and all that kind of stuff, it might seem like the game dev industry is a industry where you just upload kind of quick scheme, like quick buck scheme type of games upon to Steam and earn a few like thousand dollars and it kind of just vanish. And by vanish, I mean like you, you just put your focus onto a new game, a new idea, and you completely abandon your first prototyping game that you started selling out. But that's not really the case. First and foremost, let me tell you guys this. Like it doesn't really matter if you're if you're one day old in the game industry or if you're extremely experienced, you program for nine years like I done. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You still have to kind of put fo put your focus off of money for just a bit, like to begin with. Because if your primary focus is going to be success and making a lot of money from your first game ever that you're releasing to the market, 
it doesn't really make sense. I'll tell you what, like the, your main focus when making your first game and even releasing your first game to the market and publishing it, it should be on, okay, how do I actually improve my game? How do I build a fan base that is going to stick around not only my game, but my entire studio, my company, my, my group, organization, whatever. It might be you working in this team solo, or you might have a team of friends or a group of friends or whatever, but you basically have to find a way in order to have people that will actually be willing to follow your success and your games and your new projects that you're gonna release and how do you do that do you do that by you know focusing on money and success by releasing your first game are you gonna try and bait people into purchasing your game you're not gonna succeed with that that's not gonna bring you any success what's actually going to bring you success is if you start focusing on learning if you start focusing, okay, so how do I make a game that is actually going to be enjoyable by people? Maybe, you know, thousands of people aren't going to buy the game, but these hundred people that are going to buy the game, how do I ensure that they actually enjoy it enough to make sure that they follow me and follow me on other platforms and follow my future projects? Because I see this happening a lot and you can see that too if you only enter like Steam and you just go to the early access section or the in the game section. Because you see a lot of games that are in, you know, publishes early access but never get finished or never get developed further from the point that they start on. And one of the biggest reasons to why this is usually happening, these kinds of indie studios, is because they start by focusing, okay, we're gonna earn a lot of money from this game, right? This is going to be a huge success because the idea is incredible, we put a lot of effort into this, we put a lot of time and money into making this, and we're obviously going to earn a lot of money. And then they publish it, people start buying and they're like, all right, this is going good, let's update the game. And then people stop buying it for a while because the majority of people who were following the game from the beginning, like before the initial release and all that, before the updates and all, uh, they purchased the game, but then when the indie studio has to find new audience and branch out to new people who will find the game and, you know, become customers, then they hit the rock bottom. And that's because the primary focus is money or success. They, they just automatically go into the mentality, very defensive mentality where they're like, all right, this game is not gonna generate any more money even if we update it further. So what do we do? Well, we abandon, come up with a new idea, sell it to these thousand people that purchased the game from the beginning, and then we're done with that too. Because I receive a lot of comments from people like that, like, hey, Psycho, I'm gonna you know, develop my first big project with my team. How do we sell the game? And it's like, why are you focusing on selling the game instead of learning the market, learning the business? How do you actually get out there? How do you reach out to people? How do you branch out to other companies for promotion? and for such things well easy answer is because money is in the business <laughs> as soon as money enters the business a lot of people lose focus a lot of people lose their sight and um, their their primary point the primary factor that made them start with this game dev industry in the first place and when the passion in the background is lost for what you're doing it becomes very obvious for your for not only people who play your game but for potential customers that are actually going to follow your studio and follow your business in the future coming years and that's the reason i'm trying to pull your guys focus out of money out of success from your first project ever and try to put it onto something more logical, like learning the platform, studying the business, studying the market itself, how do you get promotion and such. So now for our second point of this video, we're gonna talk about consistency, like I said before, and I've been trying to give you guys the message in my previous videos thus far, like for the couple of past years, uh, which is pretty much the best way of building a more stable consistency, which is the most important part. And the best way to do that is to build yourself and especially your game a fan base that is going to be a ground a solid ground for your game to stabilize on because let me put it like this if you're if you're gonna abandon a project which you're completely alone on even if you're working as a team but you don't really have a fan base a, a people that are going to follow your game and your project in general then it's going to be quite easy for you to abandon the project because it's gonna be like well you know this isn't generating me anything i am literally wasting my time into this and i'm not earning anything from like back from it even under development process but if you do have a fan base it's gonna be like well if i leave this project it's going to be like i abandon these people too 
who have been following me for the past year of this development. And trust me, I can I can even refer to my YouTube channels for that. Like I owned a lot of YouTube channels before Psycho TV, um, and I, I even used Psycho TV for making different kinds of videos before I got into game dev uh, or the game dev niche of the video types or YouTube. Um, and it was very easy for me to abandon those other channels because I never really got into building a community, which is something that I've always dreamt of, which is stupid, I know, but I never really understood how to focus on the community, how to focus on being more interactive with your fans or with people that are actually following you and your work all around. And now that I understand the weight of it, I really am more happy than I ever was before. Like, I always loved making YouTube videos, but it was never as fun as now. And not only because I have 38,000 subscribers, but it's actually because I have a community who follows my work, whatever I do. Yo, by the way, Loki, Papa loves you guys. Thank you so much for following. And this obviously applies to game dev too. Like if you if you don't focus on building yourself a fan base in game dev, it's gonna be very difficult for you to become consistent. Because I have felt the way the same way. Like when I didn't have my YouTube channels, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this game. I made a game and it was almost ready for publishing, and then I just realized that it wasn't really that much fun because I I thought that it was boring, I didn't think that a lot of people would play it, and I thought that it was gonna be a failure and people were gonna bash it because I never really had a fan base who was going to support it from the beginning. And now we're actually gonna get into the third part or third topic of this video, which is also about getting bored, which is obviously correlated to consistency because if you lose your consistency, you're definitely gonna wanna abandon your project. And getting bored is the topic that we were actually discussing with JJ from Discord. And here's the deal, guys. Um, with getting bored, like, if you're making a game by yourself or with a team, it doesn't really matter, and you, you focus, let's say you're putting five hours a day every day of the week, or maybe even some days of the week, but let's say five hours every day, each day of the week, to your game, right? You're developing, you're making 3D models, textures, whatever you can come up with. You're programming it, animating and all that. And when you're putting that much effort into your game, it kind of becomes similar to, or maybe even identical to playing a game for five hours a day, every day of the week, right? And what happens if you're playing, let's say Fortnite. If you play Fortnite five hours a day, every single day, what happens in one month, two months? three months, six months, one year, like you just keep going with the numbers, what happens? You low-key get kind of tired of it, right? And the same exact thing happens when you work for five hours a day on your own game. And that's the problem. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna get bored of your game. And it's because it's not because it doesn't necessarily make your game or render your game boring. It doesn't necessarily mean that your game is terrible and it's going to be a huge failure. It's just because you think that. It's because you think that you've, because you've put so much effort onto it, because you've lived, slept, and woke up with your own game, you think that it's going to become boring for people just as it has become boring for you. But there is a major difference. Oh my gosh, the voice cracks today. <laughs> but there is a major difference between those two lines. It's the fact that unlike you, these people who are actually going to be your potential customers and your game's potential players, they haven't been playing or developing the game for five hours a day every day. They haven't been checking the game for that much. They haven't been, you know, playing the game for that much. And like whatever you say, they recently started following you or maybe they are a one year follower. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they have put as much time into the game before the initial release just as you have. And that's the exact reason to why consistency and, you know, building a fan base and getting bored of the game are all correlated. Like, it's literally a triangle that you can't really exit. Like, you need those three factors in order to actually become uh, or make a solid product at least. And also become consistent because if you don't have these topics or if you don't have these factors, you're not going to be able to become consistent because it's going to feel like you're getting bored of the game you know, it's kind of becoming a obsolete game by now, you haven't been able to provide people or whatever, but when you do have a fan base, you're gonna realize that, you know, you might think the same way, like, all right, maybe this game isn't really the best project that I worked on thus far, but people are going to be the ones that are going to motivate you because they're gonna check a new update that you post on Steam or on your website and they're gonna be like, wow, this actually looks better than the previous time. And you're gonna think to yourself, like, do these people 
actually mean that? Like, do they really think this game out of all games are actually beautiful? And I'll tell you what, it probably is, but you just don't see the true beauty of it because you have literally slept and woke up with this game for ages now or whatever, like how long, however long you've been working with the game, right? And that's the reason I'm saying that it's very important for you to build a fan base. It's not only because you're gonna have you know, 20 more people that are going to purchase your game upon release date. It's not because I'm trying to get you money or quick bucks in your pocket. I'm telling you how you can actually build a successful company, a successful, a solid studio for yourself that you can use to promote your games and market yourself as a game dev. And for people who are gonna ask like, well, how do I build a fan base? Literally go out there, like make a YouTube, create a YouTube channel, create a Twitter account, create a Facebook page, anything that has to do with social media, it's very important. And post your game updates there, you know, create a blog, do some devlogs and all that, and do that on your YouTube channel too. You might not be, you know, getting a thousand views on your YouTube videos from the day one, but you're gonna build it from there. You have to start somewhere in order to get somewhere too, or else you're just not gonna move at all. And also, sites like Discord, you know, a group page, create a Discord server for your game, uh, you know, gather people that are going to actually be willing to follow your game's progress into that Discord server and share some information, share some valuable insider kind of information so that you kind of get more people and put more exposure onto your project and your server so that you grow that as well. And that is gonna do it, guys. Oh god, the voice crack is back. But now we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all found it helpful and also enjoyed it, obviously. These commentaries are a little bit more ranty, but at the same time, kind of chill videos where I try to uh, make you guys fall asleep with my voice because I see that a lot of people do have a fetish for my voice. I don't know why. I think that my voice is eh. I mean, it's not really like, whoa. It's like it's just like eh. It's, it's a meh at its best. But like I said, guys, hope you all enjoyed and found this helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Hit that thumbs up button to show a lot of support on the video. It does make a huge difference, trust me. And also leave a comment down below if you need any assistance, if you need any help, if you have any questions. Our beautiful community will always be supporting you no matter if you're a new member or a, you know, solid three-year member. I don't even think that my channel has been up for three years, but you know what I'm saying. And um, also, once again, join the Discord server for First and foremost, the giveaway, obviously, it's a free game copy that is being released or given to you for free. And also introduce your setups in the Discord server, which is for the gaming setup and such. Uh, we're, we're gonna have some prizes for them and I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna plan it around a little bit to make it, make sure that it's solid so that it sticks around because I'm gonna actually make it to, or turn it into a, a active series on the channel so that we can actually take inspiration out of each other and um, see how people build their setups. And once again, Again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the comments or in the Discord server. See you guys. Peace out.